Hello, YouTube. Uh, this is a review of the Monty Allums Boss DS1 Rocks Tri Gain Plus mod. Uh, the mod is $28.99 at MontyAllums.com. It's a fantastic upgrade to an out of the box DS1 distortion pedal, which, as you probably know, is fairly unusable as a distortion pedal. It's a great pedal to be used as a buffer pedal in your effects chain for reducing or eliminating tone suck if you've got a lot of foot pedals or you're using long cable runs. It's really good for that purpose. The uh, modification package includes upgraded components that consist of uh, capacitors, resistors, diodes, uh, some new LEDs, as well as a new integrated circuit that includes upgraded op amps. It's got a three-way switch, and then you have all the supplies that you need, the wire, solder, soldering braid, shrink wrap tubing, and very detailed instructions. If you have even the most basic of soldering skills and you can just follow a step-by-step -step process, you shouldn't have any problem doing this modification should take you about an hour hour and a half depending on how quickly you work for today's video i'm using an 89 american standard strat with kenman blues pickups in the neck and middle positions and a seymour duncan humbucker in the bridge the amp is on three all of the tone controls on the amp are set on five the tone controls on the guitar turned all the way up and i'll be starting with the volume all the way up and starting on the bridge, here's a clean sound. That's a clean sound on the bridge pickup. I'm going to be working my way through the five pickup positions on the Strat selector switch, starting at the bridge and working my way towards the neck pickup. Um, the foot pedal is going to start out in the farthest left switch position, which engages a dual diode uh, system and gets you a good kind of push, sort of Marshall-esque kind of sound. And we'll start with the distortion on three and see how this uh, pedal sounds. So here's the clean sound one more time. And let's go ahead and engage the pedal and listen to the sound on the bridge pickup. From the bridge pickup to the middle and bridge pickup. Middle pickup. Let's move to the middle and neck pickup now. And finally to the neck. So that's a fantastic sound that's coming out of this DS1 now that it's been modified. So that's the switch position all the way to the left. And the distortion is only at 3 o'clock. So you still have quite a bit of distortion left. You're just right at that uh, overdrive breakup stage. And to my ears, in a lot of ways, this rivals the sound of my full-tone OCD pedal. And uh, this distortion pedal has actually replaced that pedal on my pedal board. A lot of guitar players have a conundrum. They like the clean sound of a Fender, but they don't like the distortion sound. They love the distortion sound of a Marshall, but they don't like the clean sound. Well, with this distortion pedal on this setting, 
in a lot of ways it sounds reminiscent of a JCM 800. So you crank the distortion up a little bit to four and then you get a bridge pickup that sounds like this. So now we'll move from just the bridge to the bridge and middle pickup together. And now let's move to the middle pickup. And then the middle and neck pickup. And finally, the neck pickup. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn the distortion all the way up and move the selector switch back to the bridge pickup and give you an idea of what that sounds like. All right, so that's the bridge pickup with the distortion cranked all the way up. Go to bridge and middle pickup. And now we'll go to the middle pickup. And now middle and neck pickup together. Wow, kind of Eric Clapton sounding there. Let's go ahead and move to the neck pickup now. All right, so that's uh, some great tones out of the switch setting to the far left, engaging the dual diodes. So we're going to move on now to the center position, moving the switch into the center position. We'll have the distortion at 3 o'clock again. And you're going to notice that in this position, the gain doesn't start out quite as saturated. It's more of a just slightly pushed front end of an amp sound. So let's start on the bridge pickup. As you can tell, it has a really nice overdrive kind of pedal sound. Okay, so I run the tone at about 9 o'clock. So let's go ahead and turn it up a little bit so you can get an idea of what it sounds like, just a little brighter. And on this setting, I find the pedal is uh, pretty transparent when you're going from clean to distortion. So as you can hear, it's a pretty good smooth transition when you're going from clean to distortion. So let's move to the neck pickup. So as you can hear, it's really good setting right here for blues. Just slide on over to your uh, next position, middle and uh, neck pickup and get that Hendrix kind of sound. <laughs> So you can get some real nice uh, single coil sounds as well as some good uh, you know, humbucker sounds and then your neck sound. Let's turn the distortion up a little bit on this middle setting. We're on about four now. 
And we'll start with the bridge pickup. <laughs> And we'll go to the uh, neck pickup. So you'll notice with this pedal that when you're hitting chords, and you've got a good distorted chord, you can back off on your volume control. So that's a good thing that the pedal's more dynamic. It'll clean up when you back off the uh, good volume control. So let's go ahead and crank the uh, distortion control up and move the pickups back to the bridge position. <laughs> Yeah, you can really get the bridge pickup to scream in this position. And then we'll go to the neck pickup. So that's your middle setting. Um, it does start to get a little noisy when you get um, past four o'clock on the distortion. Um, that's to be expected with the pedal that's got some high gain on it. So if you uh, move to the next setting, which would be all the way to the right, um, you'll be engaging a diode and an LED, which changes the uh, character of the pedal. Again, gives it a more of a a creamy, saturated kind of distortion. And uh, I found that I need to turn it up a little bit. So let's listen to the clean sound again. So you'll notice that it's, uh, it's still pretty transparent. So here is the uh, bridge pickup. And you'll notice that um, at 3 o'clock there's quite a bit more distortion than the other two uh, settings. <laughs> Move to the neck pickup. And let's uh, use the same setting and turn the distortion up. So. And I noticed that uh, this setting is a little bit more raspy, so I tend to turn the uh, tone down a little bit. That was the bridge pickup. Let's go to the neck pickup. And it'll clean up so you could use it. Um, so if you want to do your Stevie Ray Vaughan stuff, you could do that. Okay, and that's uh, turned the distortion all the way up which gets real super saturated. And uh, the neck pickup. All right.
right, so there you have the sounds that you can get out of your Boss DS1 distortion pedal once you complete a Monty Islands DS1 Rocks Try Gain Plus mod. Uh, it's an amazing mod, takes a pretty much useless pedal, as a distortion pedal anyway, and turns it into a tone monster. And you can get the uh, Tube Screamer sounds, OCD tones, you can get those uh, pinnacle uh, distortion sounds, the plex distortion sounds out of this pedal. You know, and you're talking about a total of $80. The pedal's 49 bucks at Musicians Friends, Sam Ash, Guitar Center. The mod's $28, so you're looking at a little bit under 80 bucks. And when I ordered my mod kit, I received it in about two days. So shipping's extremely fast, and um, I just don't think you can go wrong. So be sure to check Monty's site, MontyAllums.com. It has modifications for a bunch of different pedals besides the DS1. I want to thank you for taking time to watch the video, and I hope you found it to be useful. Thanks again.